Today, 74% of people in jail have not been convicted of any crime because of cash bail. It's known as one of the most unjust practices in our justice system. And on this week's episode of Good Trouble, my character Callie is treated to a personal tour. I'm going to set bail at $500. It's the best I can do, counselor. Thank you, Your Honor. Hey, at least we got bail. And I appreciate that but no way I can get $500. Let's say you get arrested. If you plead not guilty, the judge will decide on a bail amount. That money is a deposit you give to the court as a promise that you'll come back. When you show up for trial, they return it. There aren't standard rules that dictate if you get assigned bail and how much. 60% of Americans can't even cover a $1,000 expense without going into debt. So what happens if you can't make bail? What's going on with the bail money? We're crowdfunding it, and we're almost there. What happens if you don't raise bail? They'll move her to Linwood, a women's jail, till her trial. What happens is you sit in jail, and you could be sitting there for months. Imagine if you had to sit in jail simply because you're broke. Now imagine you have kids and a job. While you wait in jail for your trial, you risk losing both. Because you never know what the outcome of a trial will be, some defendants end up pleading guilty, even if they're innocent. A guilty plea usually guarantees a lighter punishment than if you were found guilty by a jury. Plus, you get to finally go home. The DA is offering a fine and 300 hours of community service. My client wants to take the plea. Well, convince her she's wrong. Taking a plea is the first step towards building a rap sheet and real life gets in the way of fulfilling community service hours, which then leads to additional punishment. Callie's boss is right, it's a trap. Once you have a criminal record, it's harder to find a job, harder to get loans. Your life will never look the same. Plus, if you get charged with another crime in the future, even something small, you get hit with harsher punishments. If a rich dude gets caught with some weed in a parking lot, he can post his own bail and be back on the golf course in time for tee off. Meanwhile, low-income communities, especially communities of color, enter a vicious cycle that we can't get out of. The good news is many states are waking up to the injustices of cash bail, and lawmakers are proposing new ways to fix it. In Washington, D.C., where 94% of people accused of crimes are released as they wait their court hearings, only 2% were arrested for a violent crime before their trial. One thing that Washington, D.C. is getting right, pre-trial supervision programs. These services include check-ins, text reminders, and transportation to court. Like a first date you're less than excited about, if you get a check-in text and a free ride, you're significantly more likely to show up. No one said change is easy. What matters is that we're starting to take steps to fix a system that criminalizes poverty. Share this video if you believe in a fair criminal justice system.